The Porter Player of the Game is brought to you by Porter Airlines. Porter, flying refined. The party can now start in Hamilton. We are back live, coast to coast, on the Score Television Network. Before we get to presenting to the H Cup, first I'd like to call on Lori Wagner from Porter Airlines to present the Dalt White Trophy for the MVP of the 2011 Yates Cup. And that player is none other than the quarterback, Kyle Quinlan. Kyle? Kyle, Kyle, you're a Yates Cup champion. You're, you're the MVP of probably the biggest game of your life. Describe the feeling. <laughs> Feels pretty good. <laughs> the start wasn't how you guys wanted, obviously. Basically nothing offensively in the first quarter, but the next three, you put up 41 points. What was the difference? And take us through that 102-yard play to DeCroce. Uh, well, I'll start with the defense. Those guys carried us through that whole first half. They've been unreal. And uh, like it is all year, we just put it up to Mike. That's all you have to do. And what would you like to say to the Mac fans, who at times, it seemed like I couldn't tell if we were in London or Hamilton. These guys take over. It's for you guys. It's for you. It's the first, it's the first Yates Cup won by McMaster on the road. What does it mean to come into Western and do it here? I don't have to say much about that. It feels good. Kyle, congratulations on a great season, and it will continue, so all the best going forward. Thank Thanks very much. And now, it's the reason why we're all here. It's the reason why all of you guys spend countless hours in the gym, on the practice field, in the film room. I'd now like to call upon the president of the OUA, Gord Grace, and Tim Hogarth, the CEO of Pioneer Energy, to help present the OUA banner and the 2011 Yates Cup to the McMaster Marauders. Guys, take it away. Well, while the celebration continues, Steph Patasic, I just want to ask you, you've been to the top of the mountain as a player, and now nobody can take it away from you. You're a champion as a coach. Describe the feeling and compare it. Uh, as a coach, this is my football family, and it's a family that I've chosen and worked with for six years. It's more emotional than anything I've ever experienced in my life. So proud of these kids. I'm so proud of us. When you look back to the week two loss to Western, in a way, could that be a good thing? It kept you guys hungry, and it seems like right now you are peaking at the right time. Well, it definitely humbled us. Uh, and we had work to do. Uh, the regular season was lots of adversity and, and made us stronger for the real season. And as you see, we're playing pretty good in, this, in the second season. You've been a part of some really great teams. Is this the start of something special for McMaster? Yeah, we're not done. We're not done. Uh, we can be proud of ourselves. Um, but never satisfied. Gary Jeffries taught me that. Uh, and so these kids are getting up early tomorrow morning and we're going to take a shot at a bigger mountain. As good as the view from, from up here, we want to go a little higher. Congratulations, Steph, on a great season. All the best going forward. Thanks very much. Get in there and celebrate.